brand new story time with Aaron here. And what we're going to be talking about is the time I was a cashier at Dollar Tree. Now, let me tell you, I have tons of stories from my time working there. So if you want to hear more of these, first let me know by hitting the thumbs up on this video. It takes one little click. And then, if you're willing, comment down below. Let me know you want to see more of these. I love reading your comments. But let's dive right into this video. This one's about either a crazy old woman or a persistent one and it, sometimes you get the two confused right so I, i'm standing there i'm doing my shift you know i'm just ringing people up and this this lady comes up and i at the first time that she came through i didn't really remember her because i kind of go into a zombie like state uh state <laughs> i go into a zombie like state when i'm having to do mundane tasks and that's anything from driving to being a cashier something where it's just mechanical muscle memory that puts me through the motions and i get through and you know i don't i don't memorize anything i don't look at what they have i don't even look at the person i'm serving i mean i do but it's like i don't i don't take any of that information in i'm just up in my head i'm just like uh, it's not even like I'm, I'm, I'm like doing anything in my head. I'm just staring off into space. I'm like, man, I got three more hours here. I cannot wait to get done. But I digress. Let's get back to what we were talking about. So uh, she comes up, right? And she has like the green basket. And and she's, you know, if, if you've ever been to a Dollar Tree, the baskets are green. The buggies are green, 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 green everywhere because everything's a dollar. She she gets all of her stuff and and she she comes back and I, I mean I did remember that I saw her before but I don't remember really what she got or or even if she said anything I just remember seeing her in the store and she comes back and she comes up to me and she's like uh, hey you uh, forgot my basket. I was like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, did, did I charge you for the basket? And she's like, no, no. And I looked around, I was like, well, there's no basket up here. Um, you can go back and get one, and I can ring you up for it if you'd like. And she's like, yeah, 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 I really wanted that basket. So she goes back to the bank, and, you know, I'm checking out some more people. Some time goes by, probably like five minutes, and she comes back up straight into my aisle, and she, she puts down... Um, her, her her green basket like the Dollar Tree basket and and it I slide it up the belt and I'm looking inside and I'm like uh ma'am are, are you ready to check out did you, did you have a question or can you find the baskets and she's like yeah yeah I'm ready to check out I'm like ma'am there's nothing here and she's like yeah yeah I want that basket I was like w what basket and she's she's like the basket that's in your hands do you do you not see that basket i was like oh yeah we can't sell this to you and she just immediately got offended she was like what why not i'm like well this is our stuff it, it, we we use these these are ours these aren't for sale and she's like well why is it in the back i'm like we put these out for your convenience she's like well it can't be that convenient if i can't buy it i'm like well you're you're supposed to pick one of these baskets up and, and put some other stuff in it and then come up to the front and dump it all out and then we put the basket back <laughs> she could not get the concept through her head she's like well i'll pay more than a dollar for it I'm like this isn't a bartering system we just can't sell it. It's not mine to sell. It's the stores. And she could not understand, right? So some time goes by and I'm I'm on break and sure enough I get done with break and I'm walking back up to the front and here sits the same lady in another line with just the basket in her hands, right? So she kinda sees me and she just looks forward like like I didn't notice her. And I go back and I'm I'm on my register and I'm ringing some people up and she's right behind me so I'm listening and and she's like she she brings it up and she's like yeah I'd like this basket and and the cashier she was new right and she's like um I don't see a price tag on it and I just 
I'm like, I stop. I stop ringing up the person that I was ringing up. And I turn around. I'm like, we, we, we don't sell this. This is not for sale. And and the old lady, she goes, oh, shush. She was about to do it. I'm like, come on. I already told you you can't have it. And and then the girl, she was like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, you can't have this. I, I forgot. Sorry. Had to bring the manager into it. Long story short, this was a big deal, and apparently all she wanted was that green basket. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I have tons and tons. This is just one of many of the Dollar Tree life stories I have. You learn a lot working there, and especially in the area that I worked. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know by giving it a big fat thumbs up and commenting down below. I love reading your comments and. I hope you guys love these uh, story times as much as you love the live stories. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a, uh, actually I'll see you guys later today with a brand new video. Who doesn't want to see their name at the end of every video? Make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description if you would like to be a part of the club.